What's up guys, it's Katrina, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I have no makeup on, hence the title of this video, my updated makeup routine. You guys have been asking me to do a makeup routine video for a while now, and I just keep putting it off, but I'm finally doing it for you. My face is way paler than my body because I always put sunscreen on my face like every day, but we're gonna fix this. I was looking back at all of my like old get ready with me makeup tutorial videos, and one, it's made me question every life decision I've ever made in my entire life, and two, I realized that I have I haven't actually given you an in-depth tutorial in a long time. So today I'm giving you that. Okay, step one, I'm starting off with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's a primer and a moisturizer. This stuff is so expensive. I actually want to cry every time I buy it, but it's really good. I don't know what happened, but my skin changed. I have been having major issues with my makeup, and this is the one thing that was able to, like, save it. I used to have kind of dry skin, and all of a sudden it's, like, super oily, and, like, it just started acting different. She switched up on me. Oh my god, I didn't put my hair back. Idiot! down the neck. Let me put my hair back. This isn't gonna be the cutest, but this is what we have to do when we're getting ready, okay? Don't judge. <laughs> Unknowingly, I keep changing my makeup routine. Like looking back at old videos, I'm like, oh, I do like half of that. Why did I change it? I have no idea. It just kind of happens. But I've never switched up my concealer. I always use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So we're gonna start with that. I have eye bags that will literally never go away and I've just learned to love them. So I did the bags and the blemishes and then we just take our sponge and rub it in, not rub it in, but like blend it out. I don't really know what I'm doing. Just go with it, okay? I also do around my nose now because it tends to get like more red there. My skin has literally switched up on me. She's so fake. Okay, all blended. Slay. The past year, I have been going back and forth between foundations. I don't know why, but I could not find one that I like. But currently, I'm using the Lancome. I don't know what that. Just look. Right now, I'm using that. Okay, so I just squirt that all over my face. And then I take my same beauty blender. I should really get a new one. Or I should just clean it. I have not been on my clean makeup game. I have not cleaned my brushes, sponges. I just think that my brushes work better when they're dirty. I think it's a thing. Anyways, I take the same beauty blender that I used, but I'm using the bottom of it now just because it's like thick. And I just tap in the foundation everywhere. Always bring it down the neck. And then I also put it on my ears because you don't want to have your face one color and then your ears are just like super pale. <laughs> Then I use the concealer side just to like blend out in the corners, blend along the brows, blend in the nose creases. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this mirror has been through it. It looks so dirty, but all of this is like old eyelash glue. I'm just a girl, a Kesha girl at that. Okay, next I'm going in with the Huda Beauty setting powder, and I'm gonna try to like bake my circles away. This is in the shade Pound Cake. So I tap it into the lid and then I take my other beauty blender. This is the one that I use solely for my powder. And I go like this and I go like this. So I'm trying to get rid of my dark circles as much as I can and then also stop the creasing under my eyes. I don't technically know if I'm doing this right, but it's what I do. Also, because my skin has been so oily, especially around my nose, like what is happening? I put so much powder here because I'm like, maybe that'll get rid of the oil, I don't know. Then I do the smile lines. But like smile lines, how can you ever get rid of them? Like I smile all the time. Look at all the powder on my face. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm kind of overdoing it. Like, I don't think I usually use this much, but it's fine. And then I do up here too. Next, I take my fluffy brush. Then I grab some excess powder from the lid. Just kind of rub it in. This part, I literally get powder everywhere. everywhere. On every piece of clothing, like, it's translucent, so it like goes away, kind of. I also end up inhaling a lot of powder during this, but... <laughs> I like this brush because it has a little smaller side too, so then I can go in around my eyes and just blend out any of the extra powder and my nose. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Also guys, while you're here, I just launched my Nice of You merch collection and <laughs> the designs are so cute, I'm actually obsessed. It'll be linked down below. It's giving man-eater, brats, hot girl shit. Okay, next step, I'm using Hoola Glow as my bronzer, and I have a big fluffy bronzer brush also. It's almost like from the top of your ear to like your top lip. And you always wanna create like a three on your face, so you're going under for that snatched jawline, and then you also wanna do your forehead, so you're like creating a three like this. Dude. 
Then I'm gonna take a little brush like this. With my same bronzer, I'm gonna contour my nose. So I create two lines down the side, like so. so. I'll create like a little circle around the tip. Where your nose will like kind of crease is where you want to put a line. And then I'll create those sides of the circle, and then I'll do under my nose. Then you just want to blend those lines out. Boom town. Okay, next is blush, and I'm gonna use this super bright pink blush today. This is the ColourPop Prairie Air. So I'm doing it kind of like where I would put my highlighter and then a little bit like right on my cheeks. I like to do a little extra blush because I put my highlighter over top of it so that already tones it down. And then I also do blush on my nose. There's really no method to it on my nose. I just kind of started doing it one day and I liked it. I know the hype is around the like clean girl makeup, liquid blushes and liquid bronzers and all that stuff. I have never gotten behind that just because I honestly just don't know how to do it and I have my way of doing my makeup so I'm just gonna stick to that. I love the clean girl aesthetic. I think it's really pretty and I would be open to trying it but it's just not what I do every day. I don't even take my makeup off at night. Like, let's not lie here. I wouldn't say I'm the ideal clean girl aesthetic. I'm just a girl. Okay, next is highlighter, and I'm using this, like, I don't really know how to describe this brush, but this is what it looks like. And I'm using this Ofra highlighter in Moon Dance. So I just do it lightly over top of where I put my blush, like right on my cheekbones, and then right over my top lip. Then I take this smaller fluffy brush, and where we created that circle on the tip of our nose, I do a little line in there. And I'm not gonna go on top of that little bronzer line that we made. I'm gonna keep it right in the middle above that line And then it kind of creates like a little like boop nose, you know, okay That's basically it for my face makeup on to the brows from doing all that makeup I get so much product in my brows. They literally look like gray right now So I start by brushing out all of that product that way I can really see what my brows look like Look at the difference for my brows. I've been using the benefit brow styler. This is like a dual thing so there's powder on the bottom and then there's a pencil on the top and I just use the pencil and I really just try to like outline my brows and then on any bald spots I'll fill them in so I start by following the line on the bottom of my brows and then I'll try to follow the line on the top I've always thought that I've had the most like normal looking brows but they have been a topic of conversation on my TikToks recently and I don't know how to feel about it this brow is like way more bald than the other brow I don't know why who hurt you I have no idea and then at the end I always take my finger and just like kind of trace it to make it a little bit sharper. Okay, next is eyeshadow. I put a primer on every single time I do my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do my normal eyeshadow look that I do every day and I use the Miss Nude York palette from The Bomb Cosmetics. So with my normal like small fluffy brush, I start with this color in my crease. I think you should always start with like a kind of natural color in your crease. Then I just go in with this like nudish sparkle and I use my finger and I put it right on my lid. And I'll kind of tap it a little bit into the crease to blend it. Rub the excess on my wrist. My arms after my makeup always look ridiculous because I just rub any extra makeup on them. Then with my same brush, I'm gonna do the darker brown and I'm gonna go back over the crease. I have small eyes and I also have hooded eyes so if I can create like any sort of depth from my crease to my eyelid I will try. I don't know what's been wrong with me but since I got back from my like almost month long vacation I have been so extremely exhausted. I can't wake up in the mornings. When I wake up I'll be awake for like an hour and then I want to take a nap. I don't know if my body is just crashing from constantly doing stuff. I honestly have no idea what's going on with me but I'm tired of being tired. Okay, so that's my everyday eyeshadow. Then I go in with this short little stubby stiff brush and I take my highlighter from earlier and I put it in the corners of my eyes and blend it a little bit into my eyeshadow. And then I also do it right under the arch of my brow bone. Shiny. Okay. Next is lashes. I basically do lashes every day unless I'm like really not doing much makeup. I'm really proud of myself because I used to never be able to just leave with mascara. Like I always had to have lashes on, but I've gotten a lot more comfortable with my lashes. So go me. But we're not just doing mascara today. We're doing lashes. Unless I feel like my falsies look like so terrible, I will reuse them over and over and over. If you're using your falsies once and getting rid of them, you need to reevaluate. 
All you do is just rip off the old glue, which I clearly do all the time, hence why it's all over my mirror. And after you rip it off, I swear they are good as new. The only eyelash glue I will ever use is the Duo Clear Glue. I've tried other glues, they don't work. You could wear lashes and go on a roller coaster and those puppies are staying on with this glue. Then I just kind of wave it around a little bit because I want it to get like tacky, not super wet when I go to put it on my eye. I use tweezers to help me put it on. Just just be careful that you don't poke your eyeball out, but it just helps to put it in like the precise location. So I'll put it on with my fingers first. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. And then just kind of like replace it with the tweezers. My eye is watering. Okay, and then I'll pinch my falsie with my regular lashes using these tweezers. I told you guys I was giving you in-depth tutorial today. Then I take my pinky and I just push it down and then I'll pinch again, but with my fingers. Ta-da! Lash two. Oh, also another thing that helps with lashes is grab the two ends and you go like this to make them more like bendable and movable for your eyeball. I always have music blasting when I'm doing my makeup, but obviously we can't do that right now. But if you guys are watching this and doing your makeup, you should be playing Nice of You by Katrina Stewart in the background. Just saying. Pinch, 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 push, 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 pinch, pinch, pinch. Boomtown lashes are done. Then you can take a mascara, any mascara will do. And I just do a little coat to really make sure that my real lashes are touching my fake lashes. And you can't see the separation because that's never good. And then on my bottom lashes, I'll literally just put my like mascara wand on them and go side to side. Cause I don't like too much on my bottom lashes. Just a little bit so they can say hello. Lastly is lips. They have so much foundation and stuff all over them, but it's fine. Listen to how dumb I am. This is the Sephora gel lip liner. What's the shade? Rouge? So, <laughs> I'm so smart and why can't I get this off? Okay, I used this lip liner and it got down to like, you know, where it's time to sharpen it. So I sharpened it and now, I don't know if you can see this, but the lip liner is like smaller than the outside casing. So when I put it on, it like moves around a little bit. And I was like, why did that happen? Like, did my sharpener just really not work? <laughs> Apparently things are high tech nowadays. And this piece at the bottom, you turn it and it comes up. So I completely messed up this lip liner. It still kind of does the job. It's just a little bit more difficult. Okay, so I do the outside. I'll blend it in like a little bit. I like to emphasize like my lips. I don't know what that's called, like the top part that creates like a V. I think it's really pretty on people. So I try not to hide it. Then I take a little more nude like lip crayon. And this is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in a... Uh, uh, it's like scratched off, so I actually don't know. But I'll do the lippy sticks in the middle, rub it together. Then I just use my finger to like clean up the edges. Oh shoot, apparently I had lipstick on my pinky. <laughs> Uh, now what? Let's just try to rub that away. Check your fingers before you rub your face with them. I usually do like a gloss that has a little bit of lip plumping in it, but I am in love with this lip oil. It's Lunar Beauty, shout out Manny. This lip oil is beautiful, look. Like, that is so pretty. Are you kidding me? Those are some luscious lips right there. Also, if you need to clean up any of the liner after, I like to do it after my gloss and stuff. It's easier to like move it around. And then of course, end with a setting spray. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Dry that on the face. Also, my lipstick always gets on my teeth, especially when I do lip gloss. So I learned this trick in dance when I was little because we always had to wear red lipstick and we get up on stage and then our teeth are all red. You put your finger in your mouth. Don't make it weird and I just saved all that from going on my teeth. You're supposed to do it until you see no more lipstick on your fingers. Ta-da! And just like that, you're glowing, you're put together, you're ready for your date, or you're ready to go take a nap. If anyone has any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments below, and let me know what else you guys wanna see. The best way to support me is by liking my videos and subscribing to me. We're almost at 400K subscribers. Also, make sure you guys are following me on my other socials, and stream nice of you. All of that will be linked down below. Again, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next next week with another video. Bye!